Hello, my darlings. My name is Victoria and this is Veritas Tarot Aquarius. I'm going to be doing your spring 2021 reading for you. Um, I'm going to be using my energy oracle cards and then I'm going to be using my angel wisdom tarot as well. Um, and if I feel Spirit wants me to do, I've got some other uh, tarot decks here too, to pull from. Uh, if the reading resonates, I would be so grateful if you would comment, like, share, subscribe. If it doesn't resonate, it simply means it wasn't for you at this time. There'll always be a reading for you at exactly the right time uh, for you as guided by spirit. And although these readings are time stamped, they are timeless. So they are for whatever you are guided to see these messages. So uh, Aquarius, let's move ahead with your reading. And first of all, I'm going to pull a card for you to see where you are right now, then to see what's coming in for you, and then to get some advice from Spirit. Uh, so thank you. Thank you, Spirit, for Aquarius, for spring 2021. Thank you. That blew out. So here we go. First of all, we've got Door to Spirit has come out for you, which is just wonderful. Look at that. Number 32. I'm really feeling with this card that you have you going through such a process of transformation, such a process of change, and you're allowing, literally with this opening the door to spirit, you're allowing spirit in. So what does that mean for you? It means that you're starting to um, listen to yourself. You're starting to respect yourself. You're starting to show yourself um, self-love, self-care. Um, you are not just absorbing um and reacting to things how you have done in the past, you're not repeating the same cycles. You've started to be observant about things as well. Um, and you're literally allowing spirit in. So you're allowing them to guide you. Um, you are listening to your intuition because you know your intuition is your soul talking to you and your soul is a piece of the divine. And so when we trust in that intuition, we're trusting in that unconditional love and unconditional support that's given to us. Um, there are, you know, with this awakening that you're going through, there are new beginnings for you that you're allowing yourself to energetically step into because everything is always waiting for you in the wings. But if you're trapped in a space of um, lack of self-belief and old conditioned ways of thinking, you're not allowing um spirit to come in for you so um you have so much help around you at this time and i just want to show you this card again uh, do you see all the lovely orbs there as well and the dove which is peace you, you know the, spirit is guiding you um and they're guiding you at the moment to have a deeper understanding of who you are, not what you've been told in the past, not what others have told, not what you've told yourself in the past, not what others have told you, or things that you may have felt you are from experiences that you've gone through. And I feel what's happening for you at this time, that although you may feel you might be at a bit of a pause in your life, there are so many changes that are happening deep within you. There's so much healing that's going on within. And this healing process doesn't happen overnight. It takes time to shift and change. It takes time for evolution. It takes time for our souls to evolve. But everything is happening at exactly the right time for you. And you are exactly where you're meant to be right now. And what's also happening is as you are stepping, allowing spirit in, this door to spirit, you are empowering yourself you're feeling this sense of um you can do things you didn't do before you're trusting that receiving thought you get that highest thought that's come from god it's come from the divine and spirit wants to say to you keep trusting in that keep trusting in what you're receiving at this time so that's where you are right now which is beautiful um i, I am feeling a bit of a heartache so i don't know if there's something that is still very painful for you um <clears throat> And they're just confirming this now with me. I was going to pull another card, but they wanted to just add this on for you. You have a woman holding a heart here. So I, I, I pulled this card up. I think it was a Sagittarius reading. It came out first of all. So I don't know if that means anything for you. But this woman are holding a heart. It talks about family issues being resolved, things um, being resolved. And it comes from a place of love. So the woman holding the heart is yourself. And it's when you deal with things from a place of love 
And I'm talking about self-love here as well. It's very healthy to say no sometimes. But when you when you deal with things from a place of love and you don't react to things from a place of pain, a place of ego, that pain body, then you stand back and observe and you allow the door to spirit, you allow those intuitive thoughts to come in and you respond from that place of love because we react from fear or love all the time. Those are the two extremes. And when you do it from a place of love, then um, that's a reflection of where you are right now um, in terms of allowing spirit in, you're feeling peace, you're feeling that sort of sense of an emotional fulfillment at this time. And it is a message to you that whatever, um, if you have any relationship issues at this time, this could be family, this could be with others, that will resolve, my darling, it will resolve. But keep observing. Observance is one of the most extraordinary gifts that we've been given. And I'm getting at the moment a leopard in my mind. You know, a leopard will observe and be very still and observe and then understand the right time to move and then move fast and knows exactly where they're going. So um, I don't know if anybody out there knows that a leopard is their spirit animal, but that's what I was I was just get, given. Um, this woman holding a heart can also talk about the presence of people around you in your life, somebody who's come in to help you, mentor you, guide you, teach you. So divine spirit will always send in for you exactly who you need at that time. And actually you've manifested them because you've asked, you said, thank you, I need this. Even though you haven't, may have asked uh, consciously, subconsciously, you've been manifesting that person to come in for you, which is just lovely, my darling. So uh, I am seeing financial constraint from the bottom of the deck, so I, I, there may be some worries for you at this time, but where you are right now with daughter spirit and woman holding a heart, um, things will resolve for you. Um, so, and now what's come out for you, this is what's coming in for you, uh, and this is wonderful. Adjacent possibilities. This talks about doorway is opening up for you like the door to spirit do you see here i want to just show you <clears throat> the two side by side there for you door to spirit and this is leading to adjacent possibilities so what does that mean for you this is as you're going through this transformative time this awakening time it's bringing in you're not stagnant anymore in an old type of energy it's allowing like being on center stage and, and in the wings, everything's happening for you. It's allowing those people to come onto the stage on, in, in the stage being your life, you being the central actor of your life. Um, and what's happening for you is um, that there are many things that spirit want you to think about, many options that you may have discarded. Um, you know, there are, there, are, there are so many different paths that we can take and there's no right or wrong way of doing it. But what's stopping you at the moment from considering things is that force of habit that's keeping you stuck there. And this is why this has been such a change for you, because I, I feel that you've come from that space of being stuck and you're now allowing yourself to guide yourself. You're now not relying on so much on other people's opinions. You're allowing um, yourself to trust yourself, to trust what you're gut instincts telling you what your soul is telling you um and every single moment in life gives us this option to open a different door an option to go another way and that's not just physical opportunities that's that change in the way we think about ourselves our old belief system, that conditioned way that we have a thinking that goes back to layers and layers of conditioning over the years. Again, we've told ourselves, other people have told us relationships, other people in relationships have told us as well. And you are now coming to a place, this is major life decisions for you at this time. And there are so many options for you. And Spirit wants you to kind of broaden your perspective look at things from a different perspective look at not just what's in front of you do you see that doorway sort of slightly clouded over actually look at what's to the left and right of you and say thank you for whatever's coming in for you on this journey be willing to take new and different directions than you've done before and this is what's coming in for you which is just beautiful so uh, now I'm going to pull for you um, what spirit's advice is for you as well for this. So um, 
let's see this for you. Spirit's advice for Aquarius. Thank you. There we are. I mean, quite extraordinary. The magician and the mirror, number 53. And five and three is eight. And eight is that lovely thing of moving forward in the infinity number as well. Infinite possibilities I'm getting for you as well. So remember with this magician in the mirror, you create your own reality as above, down below. What? So you are consciously or subconsciously all the time manifesting. And so when you're manifesting from this space, daughter spirit, when you're manifesting from a place of understanding that you are very powerful, it's, it's an incredibly amazing feeling to watch things starting to come into your reality that you have manifested. And if you don't quite trust in it just yet, have a little game of spirit, they love it. Manifest something, say thank you for, not I want, because that shows a lack of, but thank you for, and think of something you have no emotional attachment to it to at all. And then just watch and see what happens. Let go of the outcome, let go of how it's gonna happen and when it's gonna happen. I always say, move out of the way of it. The universe is like a rhino charging down the road towards you. What do you do? You get it out of the way. So let go of how and when it's going to happen, who it's going to happen with. Just know that whatever you've manifested will come in for you. And it's much easier for the universe to deliver that to you when you have no emotional attachment to it. And that's why it's a lovely learning exercise to do that manifestation because then when you come to do it for things that you have an emotional attachment for you understand the importance of letting go of outcomes allowing spirit the universe to bring it into you exactly the way that it's meant to come in for you and at the moment the magician in the mirror is as above down below do you see as well there you've got the fire and the water um and so this is you know something emotional with water and something far with passion so whatever's happening for you my darling it's coming into your reality and it's something that's very important to you. And it's happening now because you've allowed that door to spirit to open. You haven't blocked it. You haven't been staying. Um, you're starting to move away from that state, that energetic state. These are my energy cards, remember. So energetically, you're allowing this to happen, which energetically is bringing in all these possibilities. And energetically, spirit is saying, keep trusting that what you're manifesting is coming in for you, which is just wonderful. Okay, so let's just pull some of my angel wisdom tarot as well to see if there's any other messages for you, my darling, for Aquarius. Thank you. The spring 2021. Thank you, Spirit. That wanted to come out. <laughs> They're being very funny. Okay, so this is double confirmation. You have the magician again. Okay, I'm just going to show you those side by side. Two lots of magicians. You my darling, are a master manifester. And I know you know this, but sometimes you don't try to trust it. So again, visualize yourself on center stage. Everything's happening for you behind the wings. And whoever's, my dog's snoring again, I'm so sorry, Daisy. Um, and it'll all come in for you at the right time. If it hasn't happened yet, it's because it's not the right time. It's because you're being protected. But it's happening as above, down below. This is the magician card. As above, down below, it's already taken care of, okay? Um, there's nothing that you can't do. There's nothing you can't achieve. All you have to do is trust and have faith. And one of the extraordinary things in, in my journey uh, is this utter faith in the universe, in God, in the divine, in myself, in my soul. I have this utter faith now that I am uh, always guided, uh, always protected. Um, and I, and it's even if things happen that trigger me, I immediately flip them, maybe not straight away, but immediately flip them and think, why is this happening for me? Why have I attracted this into my life? What is it asking me to let go of? So um, this is the card of trusting, okay? And if you believe, it's all you're asked to do is to say thank you for it happening before it's happened because that's showing belief and trust it's happening. If you believe, the universe will provide it for you. And they love a surprise and delight. They love a sort of showing up suddenly. I call it surprise and delight. I, I, I don't do it every day. I'm sure you've heard me mention this before, but I do say on some days, Thank you for my surprise and delight today. And I never forget about it, let it go. And it always happens in a beautiful way. This is the law of attraction. Um, 
And whatever you are visualizing, you're creating. I'm um, sorry about Daisy. Um, so, um, you know, your dreams are coming true. And uh, there are people around you. Do um, say thank you for advice. Do say thank you for the messages you're meant to receive because there's always for you people that come into your life. They might even come in just for a moment to tell you something, but if it resonates, then it's for you. It can, might come in a song. It might come from, with a conversation you have, you've had with a, a friend. It might come in from soul families around you, but if it resonates, it's for you. So that is very beautiful. Um, just one more card from this deck and then I'll wrap up this reading for you, Aquarius. This is a very beautiful reading. Anything else for Aquarius? Thank you. I've got uh, 10 of um, pentacles and you've also got the seven of swords. So what's happened, I feel with you is that, um, and then you've got the magpie here, which is release on, on that card. So what's happened for you in the past in order for this door to spirit to open for you is that you've gone through something with a seven of swords where somebody has done something in your life that was very painful um, and it was a transformative time for you. Um, and the magpie talks about the sorrow that was involved in it, but magpie is also about letting go, which gives you that personal freedom. Um, it's asking you to understand, to see the truth in this, if you haven't already, that although it's difficult, it happened for you to release you. It happened for you because it wasn't for your greatest good that was happening. And keep paying attention to any um, red flags and things in relationships around you. Let go of anything that makes you feel uncomfortable. Don't be afraid to let go of people that, that just don't make you feel you, um, make you feel that you have to explain yourself or you have to defend yourself. Just, you don't have to let go of them physically out of your life, but let go of the need to respond. Because actually, if you understand yourself, if you have direct perception of your life, that's all that's needed. And then you come at things from a place of love because you've come at a place where you um, are showing yourself love and self-respect. And that has a ripple effect on relationships around you as well. Um, and um, whoever this is, they've, done this because they needed to go back and relearn some lessons which the universe is very good at doing um, and so this has been this act that they have done has been or they may not realize it for their self-love and their self-worth and let them go because if they're not meant to be with you then they're not meant to be with you but if they are then they will come back but in that right energy but in the meantime my darling you focus on yourself because look what's coming in in. you've got this wonderful wonderful ten of pentacles and this talks about abundance and this talks about abundance and whatever that may mean for you it might mean materialistic things and health and wealth but it also may mean abundance in terms of the extraordinary connections and closeness and love and joy i mean that's that's abundance isn't it and everything um and do you see there is i mean i don't know if you're pregnant or expecting a child but or you could be very protective of some new idea that you have at this time that's going to lead to that abundance. So that's very beautiful as well. Um, it's bringing in, this daughter spirit is bringing in the Ten of Pentacles, it's bringing in peace, it's bringing in commitment, it's bringing in caring connections, it's bringing in stability for you. Um, and um, and it's very, very solid with that column there as well. And it also talks to me as well about a, a generational thing that, you know, you, your list, you're providing wisdom to others, but you're also listening to wisdom from others as well. And you may have broken some karmic ties that have gone down through your, your family as well, that this is something where you have um, shifted and changed that for yourself and for others. So Aquarius, I think that's a very beautiful reading uh, for you. Um, they are actually saying one more. I will do one more. Thank you, Spirit. One more for Aquarius. Thank you. One last message for Aquarius for spring 2021. Thank you. Um, 
you've got it's very funny because we were just talking about the wiseness you know listening to the wisdom of the years and listening to the generation listening to somebody else you've now got wise counselor this is the hierophant card and again you've got those same pillars in this card here which is just wonderful um so what this is telling me is that there is around you at this time or there will be around you at this time those that can really those that have come in to give you messages from the divine messages from spirit um they could be um teachers they could be counselors they could be healers um but they are there to to help you and one of the most important things is your willingness to listen listen which i know you have because you can only meet another as far as you've met yourself and if you're willing which you are with this wonderful daughter spirit willing to listen then you allow whatever's meant to come into you to come in for you and it's your belief system i go back to saying this again your self belief system in yourself that extraordinary faith and connection that connection to source energy that connection to the divine is bringing in your self respect your self love your self worth and everything and i feel with this 10 of pentacles that you have around you this community of like minded people that you're taking great joy in at the right time um i go back to saying again that it's with this woman holding a heart and any family issues do do act from a place of love and do things in the right time for the right reason always do it from love whenever you're about to do something say am i doing this from a place of love i'm getting this heart thing again as well so um respect what you have learnt in the past which you do respect that it has come in to shift you change you evolve you it's been given to you as a gift um and understand again that power of manifestation the power of saying thank you the power of i am grateful as well but it's a very very beautiful reading and lastly uh, on the bottom of the deck you've got the justice card so um this is saying that things will um work out in your favor but keep being impartial keep being objective about things keep being observant okay keep being fair um don't um set aside your principles and beliefs okay and don't let other people overpower you you know be like an elephant the power of the elephant as a spirit animal is that um you you use your strength as a gentleness it's a very gentle approach and it's great but very very much about loyalty and love but you don't allow other people to overpower you and if there is somebody in your life with this seven of swords okay um try and show them understanding and compassion because people behave from their own place of pain they do things from their own place of pain they do things from their own conditioned behaviors their own self belief systems about where the way they think about themselves their own protective mechanisms so they don't intend to hurt another but sometimes that happens so if you can send them in those moments that you feel it love and compassion and understanding and forgiveness you're doing it for yourself because it brings you that sense of peace um and the last thing about this justice card is that whatever as i said is a favorable outcome for you and and the fact that it's the 10 of pentacles this could be something to do um with your life path with your career with your finances as well as with family so it's this is all working in your favor so if you're going through a job application at the moment or you're doing exams there's going to be a favorable outcome which is which is lovely uh but just keep trusting my darling uh, this double magician here is saying that you are absolutely manifesting everything into your life right now and do it through an open doorway with spirit Okay my darling well listen I'm going to be doing your march readings um uh now I'm in uh, the hotel here waiting uh, to move into my home so I've got lots of time to do readings now so I shall be doing your march readings for you towards the end of this month but in the meantime stay safe and take care bye bye